Rockwood Windjammer Model 3029W here at Halet RV of Coldwater, Michigan. Uh, last year this was our second best selling uh, Rockwood Windjammer model behind only the 3008W, which is very interesting because they're extremely different floor plans. But uh, that's not what this video is about. This is about telling you, um, you know, about the Windjammer, showing you the advantages of this layout to see if that fits within your wants, needs, and budget. Um, you know, Rockwood's been the number one selling lightweight trailer for I think five or six years and counting, and that's combined in both fifth wheels and travel trailers. So why are more people turning to Rockwood now when there's more lightweight options than ever? What is it about these that's really shined through as the uh, the, the winner for so many people? The the short answer is you get more of it and you get better of it, <laughs> and that's that's kind of what I'm going to delve into as we go. Now, first thing to mention before I, I go walking up here, we're looking at a trailer. Uh, that has quite a few options and upgrades, um, things that are non-standard equipment. So if you're looking at the pictures and you see something that looks a little different from this video, uh, like say the fabrics on the sofas, don't have a heart attack. Uh, the pictures represent the actual video most of the time, whereas this video is here for educational purposes more than anything. Um, the uh, TV that we're looking at here is an option. You get a, uh, in a Rockwood Windjammer, big living room TV comes standard. The bedroom TV is an option and it's designed to float indoors or outdoors as you see here. There's just a little quick release bracket so it can float inside or outside. Uh, when you add an RVQ grill, you get this extended uh, little bracket here where you can mount the, the grill beside this little portable work table that comes with it. Now what's cool is if you're right or left handed you can flip it either way. Uh, so it doesn't, you know, it doesn't matter. You can put the table on the left, on the right, whatever is more convenient for you. But notice too, and this is where I'm saying you get better in a Rockwood. This is a resin top table. This is not wooden. So if you leave this outside or in the morning when there's a lot of dew outside, it'll just pool up on it. It's, it's basically plastic. It can't rot, mold, or mildew. Notice the second awning on here. I believe that's an optional item. We put that on there because this door side slide. While it's very cool and it adds a lot of interior space, it cuts down on your awning space. So we extend your awning now beyond what it was ever capable of being. Diamond package edition, you see the uh, little aluminum shroud on top of the awning. So you can kind of see that, uh, that wavy edge thing right there. That is this metal tube that's around your awning right here. That's going to keep a lot of your sun and wind and rain from beating on that. Uh, we like to make these power everything. We have power stabilizer jacks, power tongue jack, power awning. Everything is designed to push a button and go camping. This is supposed to be fun and easy. You're not supposed to wrestle with your RV. Now, the uh, th motors in things like your awnings and your t uh, power tongue jacks are not standard. You know, it seems like they're giving away power awnings and tongue jacks like candy nowadays. But did you know that there's different grades? You know. It, it makes sense when you think about it. There's always an ABC choice, good, better, best for anything. Uh, Rockwood, like always, they like to use the best. They use higher grade motors than most of their, uh, any, any system I can think of, so that they, they work easier, they last longer, they move faster. Interesting thing on your Vinos, they actually enclose the propane tank, so you don't have to worry about you know dirt and debris flying from the vehicle getting gummed up in here. And handy little note, they do have an easy little battery disconnect right here, just this little punger. Pull it out, you have battery, push it in, you cut the battery off. It's really nice because a lot of your modern electronics uh, always trickle draw off of a battery. So if you're going to be parked for an extended period of time, things like your, your circuit panels and your refrigerator, your water heater, your stereo, they'll slowly drain the battery. And you'd be surprised how quickly, when you're not using an RV, you could kill the battery. Um, construction is an area where Rockwood is very far and away uh, a clear winner for me. I'm, uh, you know, Your construction of an RV is what determines your longevity and your return on investment. Eventually everything re, uh, resells, so let's make sure it's worth as much as possible. Uh, well, first of all, when you look at this, you can see the true high gloss skin. You can easily see the reflection of other trailers in the skin of this thing here. It's like looking at a lake in the morning, you know, overlooking a mountain. But a lot of lightweight trailers, you can walk up, you can tap the sidewalls, and they're laminated, and you think, oh, hey, cool. Walk over to the side of that slide out and do this. You're going to find most lightweight trailers, the whole wall buckles when you punch it. 
Same thing with the front walls, the rear walls, the roof. Most lightweight trailers do not feature a lot of lamination. They feature enough to make you have the impression that it's very laminated, but there are differences. You do get what you pay for always. In a Rockwood, the side walls, the, uh, the rear walls, the roof, the floor, the sides of the slides, everything is vacuum laminated, which is the best, longest lasting process of lamination. Um, one more quick thing I wanted to show you, and oh, right here, I say I kind of forgot for a second. Even the, the door latches, the baggage door latches on these Rockwoods are easier. These are magnetic holdbacks, so you don't have to worry about the sun wearing down a cheap plastic clip. It's, it's just one hand operational. It's one of those just nice convenience features. And it's those kinds of things that I really look for because that's the stuff you use every single day. You're going to be in and out of that baggage door every day. Uh, you know, most of the time you always have at least one thing in one hand. In most baggage doors, you need two hands to operate. Every window in a Rockwood will open for ventilation, so you can get some very nice cross breeze going on. Um, the frameless windows that you're looking at here, that is part of the diamond package. Gives it that really cool look, and actually those frameless windows do protect the window seals uh, by concealing them somewhat under the window pane itself. Now here's that second awning I mentioned. Obviously it's not out all the way, I just have it here for demonstrational purposes. Um, I mentioned that, oh, the, the roof being fully laminated, fully, fully walkable, probably tap danceable. Uh, underbelly is enclosed and insulated, so this is a good extended season coach. And this I like. This was basically just a, a dead space pocket behind the inside entertainment center. So they just opened it up, and it's a really odd shaped door, and you're thinking, well, I mean, what can I stuff in here? And the answer is, a lot of stuff you're going to use every single day. Bug spray, sunscreen, citronella candles. Uh, napkins for the picnic table. This is where you're going to keep all that stuff. Your outside accessories, That's you're going to put them right here, right where you need them. One of my number one questions last year is, what, what is that? It's a, uh, it's your radio antenna. That's what that is right there. A lot of people don't realize it. Uh, let's hop inside. We've talked quite a bit out here already. This model coming in at 7,600 pounds. Which a lot of people say, whoa, I thought you said this was a lightweight. And it absolutely is. This is a triple deep slide, 30 foot roughly travel trailer at 7,600 pounds. That's not bad. A lot of double slide conventionally built travel trailers that are smaller than this will come in at 82. So you're adding a whole extra slide and you're adding length and still saving weight. This is a true ultralight. I mentioned construction. Let's kind of start from the top and work our way down. You just can't do that with most travel trailers. You just can't. Generally with our air conditioning, we'll upgrade to a 15,000 BTU instead of a 13.5. In English, 50% more cold air power. Really, really makes a difference. Over the kitchen, I do like that skylight lighting and lots of extra light. And the vent here, if you're gonna cook up a storm, it's perfect to open that and kind of get some extra heat exhaustion going on. Um, I do like the big pantry here in the slide out, and I like that it's in the slide. It's a big fixture, a pantry, a refrigerator. They're in the slide, they're off the floor plan, and that's what makes this thing feel so big inside. Now the refrigerator, once again, Rockwood is a bit better. Most fridges are six cubic foot. This is a 17% larger seven cubic foot refrigerator. The little uh, retro style handles there are kind of the giveaway to that. That's sort of the way you can tell. Um, now, the, we like to add raised panels to that, like you see here, so that it matches the rest of your cabinetry found throughout the entire coach. And again, in terms of construction, Rockwood performs, and they perform admirably. Um, a slide-out memory foam sofa. And uh, the reason I mentioned slide-out is, compared to the fold-out, the slide-out has one significant advantage. Easy access storage drawer. It's got a 50 pound capacity. It's perfect for things like the blankets and linens you might need when you kick this thing over into a bed. Apparently my battery box is running low and the CO detector is screaming at me. Sorry about that. It scared the crap out of me. Um, twin Lazy Boys. This is a serious upgrade, but you get true leather residential uh, recliners in here. And that's something that, I, I mean, there's high dollar, $90,000 fifth wheels that don't have this grade of uh, you know seating area. Now, something I spotted, I think it was over here. Yes, right down here. Let me move my camera around. Right down there, you can see it. The uh, There's a handy little charger station down here, and they hit it out of the way. I, I just kind of stumbled onto it, and I wonder how many I've missed. And that's there for things like your cell phones and whatnot, and uh, that will help uh, you know give you an easy spot to keep everything charged. 
you're you're surrounded by windows in this floor plan is what I like. Uh, especially when you uh, upgrade the uh, dinette to the atrium style, you see you have triple windows here. And it's letting in so much light, it's fighting with my camera. I am sorry about that CO detector. Holy cow. Um, what was I going to mention back here? Oh, this has a radius interior and exterior roof. You see how this gets taller as we go over? That is adding about an extra three inches of headroom, especially important when you're in like the shower. LED lighting standard all the way through the interior, even in like baggage doors and whatnot. Um, again, twin super slides. So you have two opposing living room slides. And until very recently in the RV world, you never got something like that unless you were in a big high dollar fifth wheel. Now this I love. It is extremely hard to find a place to put a trash can in most RVs. And Rockwood doesn't just give you a spot, they give you the trash can. Uh, the solid surface, true Corian countertop upgrades. That's part of the uh, diamond package. Entertainment center over here looks like we've added a fireplace, which is fancy way of saying electric space heater with a, you know, that's been dressed up nicely. But it, they do a wonderful job of taking the chill out of the air in here, um, you know, without burning up all your propane. Big, what is that, 40 inch Toshiba? Holy cow, that's a, that's a lot bigger than last year. Jeez, oh, Pete's. Um, I like that it's mounted on an angle too. Notice wherever you are in the living room, you feel like the thing is following you, like a, a spooky movie where the statue's eyes follow the, the hero wherever he goes, you know? They also leave you a big giant shelf down here and a lot of hookups so that things like your, uh, your satellite brains or extra entertainment things, you have a place to put those. Uh, stereo does everything. AM, FM, CD, DVD. It's Bluetooth enabled for wireless phone music streaming. Uh, also has HD inputs. I mean, it does everything. The bathroom in here is awesome. One, we have a standing fifth wheel shower, not a cheap travel trailer tub. And we also have the nicer roof vent fan. We have a full-size Creative Breeze fan. And if you look back here, you can see that little checkerboard. That is because this has a max air vent fan cover built on it right from the factory. I really don't know of a lot of other lightweights that are doing that. Very few trailers, period, do that. And you have a huge linen cabinet in here. You actually have a place to store your beach towels and whatnot. Most bathrooms simply don't offer that. Um, up here in the bedroom, let me see if I can shed some light on the subject. Hey, there we go. So we have a queen bed in the slide. It looks like there is room. If you wanted to uh, swap this out for a king, I think you could. Now, this is also a true queen and it's a Serta. It's not a cheap camper mattress. It's a decent brand name. Um, it's a, when I mean, uh, when I say true queen, I mean it's 80 inches long. So it's a full length queen. Now, this is awesome. They give you a handy little handle right here so you can easily lift up the bed to see what's underneath. This storage back here is accessible from outside as well. You can see that baggage door right there. But what I love are these drawers. This way, you really don't have to lift up the bed unless you really, really want to or need to get in there. Also, just uh, to show you how these are built, everything is aluminum framed. The roof, the floor, the walls, uh, I mean, even under the bed. And that's how they keep the weight in check, but keep the quality and rigidity up. Notice too, anywhere they have to screw into the aluminum, they stuff it with wood, so that screw really has something to bite into. It's a big deal. Um, the uh, dresser over here is awesome. It gives you lots of space to keep, you know, socks, extra sweaters, things like that. They give you overhead uh, storage up here, but notice they give you struts, twin struts to hold that open rather than having to juggle it open with your head or one hand. Now the TV that's outside, it mounts right here on this drop down bracket. So when you're you know, going down the road, you can keep it up out of the way, but you can also turn this thing to get the you know, ideal viewing angle when you're uh, you know, um, at your campsite. Now they use the front Venos here in an awesome way. It's just a giant walk-in closet. It's, uh, you have tons of storage space in here and because it's a Venos, it's very symmetrical. You know, you've got like a, a natural his and hers setup going on here with twin hanging bars, overhead shelving storage. It's an immense amount of cubic foot of just pure storage space. And I love the layout. It's There's a reason this was one of our very best sellers last year. Give us a call, learn even more, 800. Oh my God, look at this, even detail work like this I missed the first time through. A magnetic door holdback so that this door doesn't flop around if you're on a uh, funny campsite or someone's jumping all over the place. It's, it's unbelievable detail work like that that makes me really appreciate these. 800-256. 5196, Haylet RV of Coldwater, Michigan. Thank you, everybody. Take care. Stay safe. Happy camping.